Evangelos Marinakis is trigger happy. Just look at him. He's blitzed through 20 managers in 13 years of club ownership at Olympiacos and Nottingham Forest. Despite the miraculous achievement of taking Forest back to the big time, it seemed inevitable that Steve Cooper would lose his job. But he earned a new contract after winning just one of his first 12 in the league. Then, when Forrest plunged back into the drop zone in April, Cooper was publicly backed. Marinakis' newfound patience has appeared to pay off. Nottingham Forest looks set to stay up, and it's all down to Steve Cooper's stay of execution. Today we ruin all that by asking, what if he was sacked? Steve Cooper trudged towards the away end at the King Power to applaud the travelling Nottingham Forest faithful. It would be the last time they looked at the whites of each of his eyes. The morning after, the inevitable axe was wielded by Evangelos Marinakis. Some blamed the long time away from the top flight, others blamed the haphazard scattergunned approach to the transfer market. Whatever the weather, Steve Cooper would go blameless despite Forrest's place at the bottom of the table. Amid fan Ferrari giving Marinakis desire to lurch from Cooper to the more pragmatic pair of Rafael Benitez and Nottingham based Sean Deitch. Meanwhile, Aston Villa nipped in, stole three points via a 1 0 win, and Forrest quickly made their move. October 15th saw Forrest travel to Wolves in a match between two recently anointed managers, Julian Lopetegui for the home side and Rafael Benitez for the visitors. The game had 0-0 written all over it and so it was confirmed. The following trip to Brighton three days later had less of a goalless stalemate vibe about it, but that too came to pass. The following weekend would renew old ties between Benitez and a former club as Liverpool came to the city ground in the Spaniards' first home game. Taiwo Awanee's bundled finish saw to the first goal in the Benitez regime. Meanwhile, the Forest defence remained spotless. A fourth clean sheet proved elusive rapidly as Gabriel Martinelli fired Arsenal 1-0 in front after five minutes at the Emirates, and that's how it would remain. Five points from four matches over double the points that Benitez's predecessor had, but still, Forest remained marooned bottom of the pile. Now though, they retained solidity through Benitez's 4-1, 4-1 formation. Welsh pair Brennan Johnson and Nico Williams with a defensive tag team down the right, Renan Lodi and Morgan Gibbs-White on the opposite flank. Outside of Taiwo Awani or Sam Surridge as an outball, the central sludge of Remo Froiler and Oral Mangala in midfield, as well as Joe Worrell and Scott McKenna in defence. Reinforcements were thrust upon Benitez, mainly from Brazil. Whilst Gustavo Scarpa would be quickly discarded, Felipe and Danilo were more firmly entrenched in the starting 11. One signing that many declared was actually a Benitez signing, John Joe Shelby, completed the squad as a ball playing number six. By the time the January transfers had even begun to bed themselves in, Forrest had appeared to zoom into safety. Clean sheets were kept in victories over Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Southampton, Leicester, Bournemouth and Leeds. Six wins across seven matches after the World Cup. In this time, however, the domestic cups would prove unfruitful, losing away to Blackpool 2-1 in the FA Cup third round, as well as going down 3-0 on aggregate to Manchester United in the semi-finals of the League Cup. Come the end of winter, however, Forest found themselves at the top of the second page in the Premier League standings. They stood a point behind the previous year's quadruple hunters Liverpool and two behind Chelsea, the team that Liverpool beat in the two trophies they actually won in 2022. 29 points from 21 games, Forest basically needed three wins from the start of February to seal another season in the big time. It took them two months to get one through Brennan Johnson's goal at home to Wolves in a typically dour 1-0. In the meantime, however, points at home to Manchester City, Everton and Newcastle United tiptoed Forest closer to survival. Home form was clearly the greater avenue for points, but without the focal point of Taiwo Awani missing through injury, even the city ground wasn't delivering wins with regularity. Therefore, it was harrowing that Forest had three away games from the next four. They lost all three, whilst Champions League chasing Manchester United pitched up to the Trent and netted themselves a comfortable win. 
Whilst West Ham and Wolves were deemed safe on 34 points, Forest's fixture list and its containing of Chelsea, Arsenal, Brighton and Brentford ensured that they weren't safe just yet. Rafael Benitez's snooze-fest football, though, would garner points from each of those fixtures, eight from four to confirm safety, as well as Manchester City's title. It wasn't football designed to entertain, but to survive. And it worked.